Welcome back to the garage, Tuesday. Been working on uh, the baggage door. Uh, I already have all of the pieces put in. Here's an interesting thing. It actually tells you to take this out and then uh, rivet all of this on. And I was just making sure it was pretty close. I may not have been able to get it in once I'd rivet those on. Uh, maybe I'd made this a little too flush. But uh, anyway, here you can see how it opens. Seems pretty good. I haven't tried to open it all the way to see what it looks like, but uh, I will try that. The only thing that's a little disappointing is the fit on it. Um, you know, on the bottom, it's pretty good. On the top up here, I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a gap up here. And uh, from what I've read, that may be something to do with the, uh, when they did the, the quick build, there's a template for this here, and they may not have bent it quite to the template. And so it's a little off. Only two options. I could drill out these, I could drill out these rivets here and uh, put something behind it to move this skin out a bit to make it flush, or uh, I just leave it and I'll put some insulation in there and do that. At this point, I don't think I'm crazy about drilling these out. So I think I'll just leave it and see how it works. Um, if you bend this in, I think what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up creating a crease here because this is a curved surface. So I'm not sure about that either. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, once I've finished putting it all together, who knows, it may actually, it may actually sort itself out a little bit better once it's all assembled. But uh, that's done. I've already got the, the hinge. Oop, went away. I got the hinge riveted here. And uh, now it's just a matter of uh, riveting that to the, uh, the fuselage. Anyway, quick update. Thanks. Have a great day. Hello, it's Sunday afternoon. I really didn't get too much done. I'm not sure about the baggage door yet, so I've ordered, uh, I've actually ordered the lock for it, and I went out to Ace, ended up picking up this rubber seal. Um, looks like this should work pretty good. Uh, here's what it looks like when you look at it from, uh, from both sides. It's uh, one quarter inch high. It's got sticking on the back, you know, if it doesn't work great, uh, I can do something with it later. But I wanted to get it and put it on and just kind of see how the door looks. So once the lock comes, I'll, uh, I'll do that and get that done. The other thing I wasn't very happy about is uh, right here, these rivets. They're supposed to be solid, but there's really no way for me to get a bar in there to buck them. And so I put these rivets in these are just the standard rivets that come in the kits, the, the pull rivets. And they're, they're a little proud, and uh, I don't like that either. So I ended up from Aircraft Spruce, I ended up ordering um, uh, replacement rivets for that. And I can tell you a little more about it later. And then what I've been doing is uh, I moved on. I had most of the rudder pedal assemblies done. So I thought I'd work on this a little more I haven't put the hose connectors on here yet. I'll do that. But I did go and uh, clean up these brackets, deburr them, and they're prepped and ready for priming. The other thing I've done is uh, these attachment blocks. There's, uh, let me get these organized here, but there's three. Um, this piece here, you had to, it was one piece. You drill the holes out and then you need to cut it in half, which I've done. And then what I do is, because I'm gonna prime these parts, I put them all in a little baggie like this, so that way all the nuts and the bolts and the washers are all together. And then when I go to do the final assembly of it, I don't have to go hunt around, it's all prepped and ready to go. And at least for me, that makes it, uh, it, makes it uh, a lot easier to do. So that works out well. And then back to this for a moment. So ended up getting uh, Cherry Max rivets for those. There's ones that you can get that are countersunk for countersunk holes. 
And so I've got them on order. I'll try them out. Uh, I'll show it and I'll post it in the video so you can kind of get a look at it um, and see how that looks. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to make sure that that was flat. And then I'll put the, the caulking or the gasket on here and just kind of see how it fits and see if I'm happy with it or not. I'm really not happy about the gap. Uh, I've read a couple of articles where people have tried to fix it. Obviously, I could drill these rivets out along here and a couple of these and then put a little shim on the back and move that out a bit. That would hide it. Seems like a lot of work. I don't know if it's worth my while or not. And then the other option is uh, go order another door kit from Vance. It's probably about a hundred bucks and build it on here. So what I would do then is I would actually build a frame, have the frame done, attach the frame to the hinge, put the front panel on, and then uh, once it's all set, then I put the back panel on and that way I match drill it and it's at the shape I want. Now, the one thing I may very well do is because I already had the back panel on this, I'm wondering if I, uh, if I take this and remove the back panel, just drill those pull rivets out, it shouldn't be very hard. I wonder if I'd be able to shape it enough uh, with the frame to be able to get it to fit cleanly. Uh, I'm not sure I can, but it may be something that I try. And here's kind of, you know, I'll just pop, pop it up here for a second. There's what it looks like. And like I said, you know, once the, once the things are in, there's a bit of a gap here. I think I showed it in the other video. I'm not sure I'm crazy about that. And uh, we'll see. Anyway, there's a quick update for everyone. Enjoy and have a great day. And welcome back. This is just a quick thing here. I decided to move on with the uh, the rudder pedals and just added the fittings for the brakes. Uh, as you can see here, you got to watch the uh, the caulking of these because it it matters when you put them on, and you'll notice they're different from the pilot side to the co-pilot side uh, with the fittings. So these are National Pipe Thread NPT, which means you need to use something like Permatex uh, Type Two. You don't want to use uh, Teflon tape. It uh, it's not what it's called for and it actually references it in the uh, manual anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did uh, don't for don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a like thanks and uh, have a great evening bye now